It's the British Grand Prix and it's round 12 of the second season of my My Team Career Mode. How's it going guys? Brown here. Welcome back to the My Team series. It's been a while since Austria but don't know boy with rumbling. Let's get into this race. So Silverstone then. One of the best tracks on the calendar. Been the first ever F1 race and it just got better every year. I'm not quick round here though, so that is not not a good start whatsoever. So this is the grid then for the Grand Prix. It's yet again another Mercedes one too. This time headed by Valtteri Bottas. Behind them is a Racing Point One Two headed by George Russell. Then it's Verstappen Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Gasly, Kvyat round on the top 10, then it's Vettel, Lando, Ricardo, Us, Magnussen, Eilat, Nick De Vries, S. Van Ocken with a penalty, Gran Joe, Giovinazzi, Alex Albon with a penalty, and Nicholas Latifi rounding out the grid. Here we go then for the Grand Prix, there's three, there's four, there's five lights. It's lights out and we're away here at Silverstone. Looks like a, a good start from those two behind. There's a racing point all over the back trying to get it over to Aiden. Through Abbey, through Farm and we're going to go round the outside of so many cars there. Down the inside, trying to get to the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. We didn't have the best of grid positions but we've had a great launch. And a great start. We're up into P8, so we've gained eight positions, I think that is. As we head down the Wellington Strait, and we're past Gavia into Brooklyn's now. As there's Lando Norris there at the back, trying to get past Sebastian Vettel. Can he do it? Tries to hold it down the inside through Luffield. Then side by side through Walker. And now, towards Cobbs. They're still side by side. Is Lando going to keep his foot in? He is. But Vettel keeps that position in his Ferrari. And up front, back up to us. We've got Kavir all over the back of us. And it's Magus Beckett's Chapel where I struggle so much. But hopefully it won't cost the team much this time. Because they are very strong round here. But... We go. We run a little bit wide there at the end of lap one, and I don't know. I have to see. Run the soft. We're doing the one stop. This is a replay of my start. So from P14, we just we get a bit boxed in, but we just open lift off and sail around everyone at Abbey Free Farm, and then we absolutely send it down the inside of Charles Leclerc into Village, and then round the loop through entry and onto the Wellington Strait right now and so as we skip on then behind us we've got Daniel Kvyat in his Alfa Tauri as he's gonna go for it through Mangas and Beckers we're side by side with him we squeeze him out we squeeze him out and we put him onto the grass that was a bit naughty of us there but he doesn't care. <laughs> very, very close. Look at that. That could have been an airplane crash. To quote Martin Brundle. Skipping on though to lap four, and we've gone wide and on the grass on the exit chapel. Down the hangar straight. And here comes Daniel Kvyat. Down our inside. Can he get the job done? No. We sail back around the outside through snow. We're side by side, Kavia looks to have overtaken us. Down into the veil chicane. We're still side by side. We're trying to hold it round the outside. And we get the job done and stay ahead of Daniel Kvyat. Meanwhile at the bank, Vettel's going toe to toe with Gasly. How is there not contact there? But Gasly is overtaken now. So it's Alpha Tauri, Ferrari, Ferrari, Alpha Tauri. So, in a sense, Ferrari are in a Big Mac. Yeah. As Kvyat this time gets past us, we try and send it back down the inside at Stowe. But, we weren't able to do so on lap 6. We fell way back 
and I don't know what it is with Silverstone so it just doesn't click. I think it might be the special helmet that I do every year. Um, but there are two Ferraris now side by side on lap 8. Vettel trying to get past Leclerc, Ferrari won't like this one. Round the outside goes Sebastian Vettel and past his teammate. So down into turn one, you see he's right behind, but Lando Norris is now trying to get past the Ferrari as side by side the Alphatari is with the Ferrari Lando is just lovely poised trying to get past if the opportunity presents itself well it looks like it might have done is Lando brave enough to send it down the inside of Brooklyn's no it's not it's keeping all the way until lap 11 now and it is time for the pit stops you can see in the bottom right of your screen we have held on in P9 after losing that one place to Daniel Kvyat he just blitzed us up the road but there is Kvyat so he's not that he didn't get that far and now here we are onto the mediums make our one and only stop and we beat the avatar out and that's decent it's very decent indeed um but no, we came in behind him so we're gonna come out in P12 but this is because not anyone not everyone has made their stops as the two Alphatari come out side by side and Gasly sends around the outside of Daniel Kvyat wow Kvyat's lost out two positions then in this race it's now skipping on to lap 14 you see we're back up into P9 and Gasly's coming at us now Gasly Tries to go around the outside of us. We open the steering and squeeze him out and just die. Uh, one lap later, here comes Gasly again. There's Ricardo waiting in the wings. Um, Carlos Sainz waiting in the wings. And Gasly's gone wide. And Carlos Sainz is through. And up into P, P10. Gasly tries to fight it back, but he can't. And Dan and Carlos Sainz. He's taking his chances very well, as this is, on lap 16, George Russell coming out of the pits, and his engine's gone, oh no, George Russell's engine has blown here at Silverstone, and what was looking, at, looking like such a good result for the racing point team, starting on the second row, locking out the second row, and George is out for the second year in a row Lewis Hamilton makes it an 8th British Grand Prix win and we are going to come home for a P7 after two retirements The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So that has been your British Grand Prix then. Lewis Hamilton doing it what he does best wins, overcoming Bottas like he did in 2019. Um, in the end we had quite a good result, P7, Lando picking up a point as well. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, a bit of a more dull race I guess, we were just constantly defending. Not as much in the second stint. Science was there, he was pressing us, pressing us, but he could never get close enough to go for a move. 
that's why kind of there weren't really any highlights for the second half of the race you can see here though the driver standings Lando is still nowhere near us but he didn't really need to be or does it well he kind of does because my decision all boils down to me if we keep him on um but back into the paddock we get both of our sponsor bo um, sponsor bonuses which is good as well and into the R&D and we need to focus on our reliability it is so so poor you can see there but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like if you want to no one's forcing you um, and subscribe if you want to as well um, I'm hoping I can be a bit more consistent um, it's been a long while since Austria but I don't know, we'll see. But until next time, goodbye.